may ay may kakilala kami. Uh, well, to be fair naman, mataas na rin naman yung position niya. Head nurse sa States. Bro, naka-Tesla. Going to work. Why? Oh. Welcome! Another episode na naman of Guess the Salary. And in this episode, tama ba, Pats? We'll be discussing or hulaan natin yung mga salary ng mga sa medical profession. Medyo, ano yan, medyo malaki yung issue na pag-uusapan natin or hindi, I don't know, tignan natin. But um, yes, in this in this episode, we're gonna be talking about uh, professions in the medical field. Yeah, and kung hindi ko alam kung nanga na hospital or napunta kayo sa hospital lately, sobrang konti po ng nurses natin na uh, makikita nyo na parang kulang sila sa manpower, no? Yeah, I think this is a very um, good issue to, to discuss. Without further ado, Pats, can we start with the first one? Let's go! Sige. Saan pala galing while you're preparing? Saan pala galing itong mga um, job description natin na or mga openings natin na? Yes, yes, yes. In this episode, uh, thanks for reminding me, no? But uh, for this episode, all of these positions are from Caliber. Again, this isn't sponsored, but Caliber, <laughs> baka naman, di ba? <laughs> sana, 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 sana. Game, staff nurse. Okay. Yes, for our first position, staff nurse. Um, like you said, kanina, sabi mo, konti lang ang nurses natin dito. So, that's why siguro ma- marami rin nag-hire, no? So, Um, right. ito, very new, um, pos- uh, not very new, pero uh, very uh, entry-level yung position natin. So, staff nurse responsible for the delivery of patient care, responsible for managing records, supplies, and equipment, and uh, provides health education to patients and families. So, requirements, wala masyadong requirements, just, you know, basta, basta registered nurse ka, nakapagtapos ka ng a four-year degree in nursing, so, yun na yun. Um, sige, thoughts mo, JD. Right. Kasi alam ko, tama eh, since, since staff nurse to, alam ko maraming parang nurses level or specialty eh. May kakalala ako, yung mga pinsan ako, sin- I mean, piling ko lahat, lahat naman tayo either may friend or may kamag-anak na nurse. Sige, piling ko dito magkakaalaman yung issue talaga sa Pilipinas. Um, <laughs> and yung feeling ko, yung alam ko na parang starting salary abroad, 100k ata, huwag kinonvert mo eh, dito sa Pilipinas or at least in that range eh. Um, for yeah. this one, let's just say registered nurse nagtake ng board exam, board passer ka, 25k or 20 to 25k. Piling ko, natuto na ako sa mga unang ano natin, <laughs> sa mga unang episode sa atin. So, ito, three, three times right? the charm ba? Yeah, yeah. Malay natin, malay natin. Okay. And actually, JD, congratulations. <laughs> Pasok na pasok. Uy, pasok na pasok. Pasok na pasok yung range. 20 to 25 k Grabe. But, yes, that being yes, said, yes. sadly, sadly, tama, ano? Like, uh, you you uh, hate to be right. <laughs> yeah, you hate to be right this time. And then, I mean, uh, kung gano'n naman talaga yung laban mo, mag-abroad at mag-abroad ka talaga, di ba? Like, for sure, for sure. Hindi mm. I heard that. Mm. Oh, I heard na abroad. Um, especially in New York. City, um, it's thirty to forty dollars an hour. Oh, oh, well, on yeah, an hour. Grab. Oh, per hour, per one five, one five per hour. Per hour. Well, so talaga ng pagita ng limpak ng limpak. Sadly, sadly. Oh, no. Actually, gusto ko lang din to share. May, may, ay na may kakilala kami. Uh, well. To be fair naman, mataas na rin naman yung position niya. Head nurse sa States. Bro, naka-Tesla. Going to work. Why? Oh, sige. Next, uh, we got a health and medical operations specialist. So, for this one, um, ganun pa rin. Uh, kailangan graduate uh, of nursing or medical technology. So, medyo, medyo mas malaki yung scope natin dito. Um, but for the job description, it's to provide assistance to field providers. Um, so that's our nurses, physicians, and therapists. Uh, ensure jobs are strategically matched with field providers and serve as an authority, provide expertise and advice as appropriately to field providers and assist with support chats. So, pwede kang um, tumawag, uh, pwede it's a voice, pwede non-voice yung position. Um, and 
you know, well, di walang nakalagay na years of experience dito. Pero from the job ex- description na parang feeling ko lang na kailangan medyo marami ka ng years of experience dito. Kasi you're basically providing ano eh, advice eh, diba? Yeah, so hindi ko like nung binabasa ko to like parang what does that even mean health and medical operations specialist pero parang generalist yung dating niya dito sa dating yes. sa job description. So sobrang nagulat ako pats buti nga ikaw you can you can grasp pa kung ano yung pinuturo pero parang ako no clue talaga ako ano yung ginagawa nila or I don't even have the have, have a clue kung ano yung nasaan sila nasaan sila nasa hospital ba sila nasa call center ba sila like ano yun ano yung itsura ng job nila. Um, yeah, so, for this one, again, it's but tama kay requirements parang wala eh. Parang pwede kang fresh ano eh, board passer na may excellent communication skills. Ito na naman tayo sa requirements. For this one, I'll stick with the ano, I'll stick with the 20 to 25k. Feeling ko 20 to 25k. Okay, okay. T- tsaka, actually, I agree with you na medyo bago rin to sa akin. So, if, if, You know, there's anyone out there watching our video, na health and medical operations specialist. Please comment down below kung ano talaga ang uh, Anyway, 20 to 25k. So you're sticking with that. All right. Um, our answer is 30 to 40k. Not bad. Eh. Not bad. 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 Lifestyle, tapos yung pa yung kita mo versus this a month. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a living for for a lot of us as well. Thirty forty k, not bad. Good job. And also, kung yung mga nanonod na alimutong yung mga alam, <laughs> health and medical operations specialist, please confirm, please confirm kung tama ba tong salary range nato. Kung mababa or matas, yeah. di natin masabi, no? Hindi tayo magpagrap. High oh, or low. Or kung wor- oh, kung worth it ba yung thirty to forty k na yeah. tayo? for your career or for your job. All right. Sige. Uh last last ano last mm-hmm. position. Yeah. Meron tayong healthcare data analyst. So, ito actually itong position na to. Medyo bago rin sa pandinig ko. Um mm-hmm. I know data analyst, I know um I'm familiar with data, data and data science, but uh hindi ako familiar with doing it in the healthcare industry. And I'm super happy na merong ganito. So, you know, for the aspiring data analysts um, or data scientists out there na who want to to focus on the healthcare industry, um, why not? Diba? Why not? So, so, just to read the job description, it's to provide documentation coverage for assigned healthcare providers. Listen to audio records. Wow! Listen to audio records of patient clinic visits. Kailang, para ka nagpa-podcast pala dito. Nakikinig sa podcast. <laughs> Keep them actively engaged with their primary physician and maintain a high, a high quality of standards and adhere with account-specific documentation guidelines. So, graduate of medical, allied health, and life science courses. Or so, kung data sa Vicayo na graduate of a medical course ng college, then G, di ba? At least three months of work experience in a clinical setting after finishing the course. So, example, three months of work experience. I, I've never heard of that. Na by month yung basehan. Tsaka, yeah. computer literate. Familiar with MS version. Ah, What do you so, think? Na, nabang binabasa ko yung job description, sobrang napagod ako, Pats. Napagod ako and dangaw ako para dun sa kamay nung mag-apply dito. Kasi feeling ko, ang daming transcribing na gagawin. Na, ayan o, oh, listen ka sa your records of patient clinic visits. Tapos, yung summarize, You're, when you say summarize, you're really typing it out. Ah. As in, tinatype mo kung ano yung nalaman mo dun. And siguro dahil uh, maalam sila sa mga medical terms. Pag naririnig nila, gets nila kung ano yung lalagay. Pero grabe, yung computer literate na yan, familiar with MS Word and Excel. Piling ko dyan nila tinatype yung sa Excel na nalagay, patient record, ito yung nakasulat, etc. Et so nakapagod. No? Um, ay nako, sobrang nakapagod. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and be, be, before before you answer, I stand corrected. Ah, naakala ko ito yung data science slash data analytics na we know. Pero no. parang it's data yeah, entry yeah. eh. Di ba? Parang you're oh, in, encoding siya. Oh, encoding. Pero tama ka eh. Medyo pinaganda nila like that. Yung keep member actively engaged with primary position, maintain a high quality of standards. 
yun eh, parang medyo vague, eh, diba? don't you think? Kasi parang yung, yung main job niya talaga, encoding or, or summarizing stuff, na parang since maalam ka dun sa mga uh, maalam ka dun sa mga terms, hindi ka magkakamali sa tinipe mo. O oh, hindi, ito yung sinabi ni Doc, itong gamot, etc. Et uh-huh. <laughs> kapagod, nakapagod. Um, sige, game, ano yung magkano yan? Ah, shocks. Hmm, twenty. Mm, three months work experience. For this one, feeling ko fifteen to twenty k. Tayo yung pinahama baba feeling ko. Fifteen to twenty. Alright, alright. Tama ka ba? Eh, hoy, twenty five to forty k. Bad, 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 bad. Pero na. Oh. Nakatawa yung range do Like 25 to 40k. Like pag... Luma- lumaki. Depende ba sa month? Oo nga. Depende ba sa month? Two months ka 35k. Three months ka 40k. Yun yung tatlong jobs natin, no? And, pero medyo sad paths, no? Um, kasi parang makikita mo yung range. Wala man lang umabot sa 100k, no? From those three. Again, medyo entry level. Um, but with with the pressure, pressing issues now, dito naman yung gap talaga sa, sa pay versus mm-hmm. mga 30s abroad. Yeah. Pero, you know, after, despite all of this, sobrang saludo pa rin ako eh sa mga medical professionals natin na, alam mo yun, it's passion na talaga yung nagpapatakbo <laughs> sa kanila dito. For sure, for sure. So, you know, despite all that, um, to all the medical professionals out there, grabe. <laughs> yeah, saludo, chaka, saludo. Kung naghahanap ka ng real world impact, dude, like, You're helping, you're saving lives, you're really helping people like with with their diseases and illnesses, diba? So, laking, laking impact talaga. So, yep, I guess, yep. kahit naman ganito, like the fulfillment naman na eh, pag gumagaling yung mga patients, pag natutulungan nila, I feel like that's priceless naman. Max! Of course, of course. Wow! Very, very noble. Pero, kung kung pipiliin nilang kumita ng mas malaki, hindi rin natin silang masisisi. Yeah, definitely. They definitely ang laki nung ano no nung nung gap kaya pag nagpunta rin sa hospitals now mapapansin mo ay wala nang konti mga senior nurses hindi mo napapansin or like parang wala yung mga mid level yung mga middle age ones so i feel like may mga may interview ako na the nurse before nung nung um, during our ano delivery matanda na siya mm-hmm. parang bumalik na lang daw siya so apart ano una tinanong ko oh buti po next day kayo hindi kayo nag abroad sabi niya and then tagal ko sa dubai sabi niya ganoon So bumalik na lang daw pala siya na ako kasi napagtapos niya na yung mga graduate niya. Yung mga yung mga anak niya. Um so parang tutusin kung titingnan mo, pupunta sila doon at 25 or 20 mga ganong age, early late mm. middle 30s. Babalik sila mga nasa late 40s, late 50s. Um parang pagpunta ng hospital parang ganoon na yung makikita mo ng mga anak ng nurses. Yun, thanks for another episode of Guess the salary pads. Thanks for the the research and maganda yung episode kasi another medical professionals and another medical pads. Yeah, or you guys, they, you guys can start a conversation with us also in the comment section below. That's it. Thanks. Thank you guys.